Hello, this is Chris with Aerotech. I am going to walk you through today on how to update your SMTP settings within your Kanaka device um, to a new Gmail account. Uh, this will walk you through on how to find the IP address of the machine, how to configure the Gmail account correctly uh, so it will um, connect with your BizHub device, and then how to program your BizHub device with your new account, and also a way to easily test it uh, without having to physically go to the machine and uh, try a scan to make sure everything's authenticating. So we will go ahead and get started. To find the IP address, depending on which model you have, this is a C368. Anything with this type of display, you're going to see the menu button one of two places. You're either going to find it right here or in the upper right area. Um, but click on that guy, you're going to see utility. And then you're going to see device information. That's going to show your IP address. If you are on a model with this type of display, um, you'll see utility slash counter. And then you'll see device information, and that will also show your IP address as well. So in Google, um, once you have the account you want to use or the account you created, um, there's just one setting that you typically are going to have to change to allow this to work. Um, what you'll do is you're going to click on these little boxes up here and you're either going to see account or if you scroll down a little bit further sometimes you'll see admin especially if it's like a paid for account um, but we're going to click under account and you're looking for the security option that you see over here on the left sidebar uh, once you click on security scroll down and you're going to see less secure apps we need that set to on by default it's going to be set to off so basically you would click on this and you're going to set it to on um, that's just going to allow the, the machine to connect for the scan to email. Um, without that, it will not work. Um, that sometimes can get disabled. Um, so, for example, if the account is signed in from um, a different IP address, different area, um, it might recognize that as, you know, um, unknown user, and it may delete the or re-enable this setting to off. So if you ever get an email that says, you know, an unrecognized device or location is signed in, um, please confirm. Um, go in and check that and just say, no, this was authorized. Double check that this is set to on. Um, without that, again, it's not going to work. And also keep in mind, if you ever change the password of this email account, you're going to have to update that in the copier's SMTP settings. If that doesn't work, uh, it won't authenticate. Um, and that's it from the Google side. So now that we created our Gmail account that we want to use for the copier to send the scans from, we're going to program that account into the copier. So to do that, um, you're going to use the IP address that we got in the first part of the video off the machine, and we're going to type that into a web browser. If you type that in and the page does not load, or it loads when it doesn't allow you to click through and you just are having some weird issues, try a different browser. So for instance, I'm using Safari uh, in this video. If Safari doesn't work, try Chrome, try Edge, try Firefox. Um, you'll eventually get one to work properly. It just depends on your operating system and what version browser you're using um, in combination with what model machine you have. Um, you'll find one to work. Sometimes it just it, it takes another, another browser. So once you're in here, um, you're going to see it's usually going to log into public mode by default, uh, which is fine. We're just going to click on to login screen. Log out of that. We're going to click on Administrator. Click Login. It's going to ask you for a password. This should be the default password of 1 through 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then your OK button. If that doesn't work, uh, let us know. Sometimes clients want this changed. And uh, we try to keep that on file because it is very difficult to uh, reset. Um, so we try to store that for you in case you ever forget it. Um, once you're in, we're going to click under this network tab. You might see just little colored boxes with icons. It should usually always be the one that's in yellow. Sometimes it just won't say network. You'll just kind of see little icons. Um, so we're going to click on network. Uh, what you want to do, we're going to assume you've already been programmed with um, an account previously that was a Gmail account. Um, if for some reason this is a first time setup, 
you just want to make sure your IP subnet and gateway um, are correct and that you also have an address program and for the DNS settings. Um, this is Google's DNS. We usually pre-program that into the machine. This is going to allow the machine to get out to the internet so you can scan to email. Um, so just make sure a valid DNS is in. If you're not sure um, and you're, you only do scan to email, I would recommend putting this 8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. Um, if you do change that, just make sure you click your OK button and it will accept those changes. Um, so once you're in the network though, um, on this left sidebar, you're going to click on email setting. You're going to click on email SMTP. And um, all this settings should already be enabled. Um, you should have Google's SMTP server address in there already. If you don't, you can enter it there. Um, we want to use SMTP over SSL and port 465 over SSL. Um, all you really are probably going to have to do is just change this account. Like I said, that stuff should already be done. We're going to switch this from this pre-programmed connected AOS.com to your Gmail account. Um, what you'll do is we got to edit all three of these. You'll see connect at, connect at, and connect at. Uh, we need to change all of those. So the first one here, it doesn't let you edit that one from this screen. There's another screen. We'll do that. So I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, we're going to edit the ones that it allows us to using that Gmail account we created uh, in that demo. And we're going to change it there. You can paste it in here as well. Um, you'll see the password area is blank. It does that after you save it. Um, so what we're going to do is click on password has changed and we're going to type in the uh, password that goes with that email account. So the actual password that you log in to that Gmail account with, um, you need here. That's how it authenticates. Domain name you can leave blank. You don't need the info in there. Um, if that password is not correct, this will not work. Um, so do make sure that you type that in correctly. Uh, click your OK button. Now we're going to go change that email address that uh, in the area that it doesn't let us uh, edit. Um, what you'll do to get to that one, you're going to click on where it says System Settings. And we're going to be under the Machine Settings. We're going to change that right here. And that's going to update that SMTP screen. Like I said, all three areas where I had that email, we do need to change those. Um, once that's set, you should be good. Uh, there's an easy way you can test this um, versus having to log out of it and go actually to the machine and try to scan. What you can do is click under this maintenance option, scroll down to total counter notification setting, and um, we usually will already have an address pre-programmed in the machine here. Leave that one there. That's for us. That's how we get your accounts um, every month for billing purposes. What you're going to want to do is find an open address area. Uh, put in your email. Um, just, I don't think you have to check one to notify, but just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and um, add you to the notification list. But uh, what you want to do is send notice after complete click on and then say OK. What that is going to do is going to email you a, um, a copy of the current meter counts of the machine. If you receive that email, then you know you're working. Then you know it, you know it's uh, connected and you have a good connection. If you don't get that, sometimes it takes a bit, maybe give it a couple minutes. Um, I Occasionally, I've had to turn the machines off and on uh, whenever I, I make some changes like this to get it to take. Usually it works without having to do that. If you do have to um, reset the machine, there's going to be a large door above the paper trays uh, where you would add your toners. There's a door that folds down. You'll see your toner sitting in there. You'll see a main power switch, usually in the lower left side. Um, some models will be in the lower right. It'll look like a little light switch. Just turn that off, give it five seconds or so, then turn it back on. Give the machine a couple minutes to kind of initialize and come ready. And then um, you can try a scan or you can log back into the machine and um, test it this way. Uh, one important thing to remember is we are in the admin mode. When you're in administrator, no one can use the machine um, until you log out or it times out or you, you know, turn the machine off and on. Um, so it's always a good idea um, to just click log out and say OK when you're finished. And uh, hopefully you got all your, uh, your Gmail account configured correctly with that list of secure apps. You put in the password correctly in the machine and you should have a good connection and you can scan to email using your own uh, Gmail account. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.